सो हाई गाइज दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ आर जावा प्ले लिस्ट इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी सॉ हाउ वी कैन डिक्लेयर डिफरेंट वेरिएबल्स एंड डेटा टाइप्स एंड हाउ वी कैन प्रिंट वैल्यूज ऑफ दैट वेरिएबल्स सो इन दिस वीडियो वी गो नी हाउ वी कैन टेक इनपुट इन जावा सो लेट्स क्रिएट अ न्यू क्लास आई गिव दिन नेम एज द इनपुट thing so i will get um, my main class so this is my main class uh, as we discussed earlier we have to create a main method so let's create a main method so uh, uh, for taking input in java you need a scanner class let's create a object of a scanner so this is a bit advanced concept this comes under object oriented programming where we use classes and their objects so but for now you just have to uh, remember this syntax so first you have to type scanner after that name of the scanner you can give any name to the scanner i am giving sc then equal to then new keyword to create a new scanner object and then class of a scanner object so and in the bracket you have to write system dot in so this is a syntax for the object of a scanner class but here you can see uh, it showing me this is incorrect that is because i am creating object of a scanner class but in my program there is no scanner class is available so we have to import it from another package so for importing it we have to write import java <coughs> dot util dot scanner so what is java dot util so java dot util is one of the package which is present in java documentation so from that package we are importing the scanner class which going to help us to take input from the user so this is how you can import the scanner class and you can create a object of a scanner class i will write here object of a scanner class object of scanner class so once we create a object of a scanner class uh, with the help of that we can take different input so let's take int input from the user and print it int input so for taking the int input we have to initialize a int variable uh, we saw yesterday how we can create int variable so i am initializing int var is equal to now first you have to provide the object of a scanner class which is we created as a sc here you can see we created sc as a object of a scanner class so first we have to write sc then there are different methods to for a different type of input if you uh, have to take a int input then there is a function which is next int so sc dot next int it is used to take int input from the user uh, let's take input and print so let's s out var1 okay so this line gives me ability to take in input and print it so let's run this program and check whether we are correct or not so here you can see uh, if i am giving 85 as input so uh, here you can see it is taking int input and it is printing 85 as input let's check if i give him a character output character input if i take a g then it should give me a error so here you can see uh, it is showing input mismatch expression means i am uh, specifying the condition for int and i am giving character data type so this is how it showing here so uh, let's comment it out for now uh and 
let's take uh, different types of input so first i am uh, taking uh, float input so let's create a float variable so for that you just have to write float then you have to write variable name and after that you have to write sc dot next float so this is a function to collect the float variable and let's s out variable to let's uh, run this program and now i'm uh, gonna give this a uh, float input 23.4 here you can see it is taking a float input and it is uh, providing me the float output so let's see how we can take string input in java i have a right here string input so for string input we have to create a string variable string where 3 is equal to so again we have to use that object of a scanner class and in bracket you have to write the function next line so it will collect all the input and give it back as a string so let's s out variable 3 and let's check by running the program here i'm giving this is my third program so here you can see it is taking a string input and giving me as a string output so after that same for the boolean for boolean we have uh, next bool and uh, for taking the character input it is a bit tricky you have to use one another function I will show you how you can take a character input so first you have to create a character variable so let's write character input so for taking the character input we have to create a char uh, variable char4 and in char variable we have to first uh, write sc dot next and from sc dot next we have to create care so we have to write here sc dot next int dot care at zero means whatever input we are collecting from sc dot next method we have to return the first character of that string so let's uh, check whether we are getting right in output or not so here i am giving where for so let's check so i'm gonna provide my d as the input and here you, you can see it is giving me as output so this is how you can take a character input in java so for the next input is uh, array input in previous video we saw how we can initialize an array so let's see how we can take array input in java so for that you have to create a array of a specific size so let's create an array is equal to new int uh, i am taking an array of size 5 so now you have to use the for statement so currently you don't have to uh, give close attention to the statement or the syntax of the for because we will cover this uh, for loop in our next video so i'm just giving size of the array and after that i am giving error of i is equal to sc dot next int 
so this is how you can take array input in java and at last i'm gonna print the array so for printing the array you also have to do the same for loop and h to file and i'm just modifying the error of i sorry j okay so for now uh, take it as a just understanding i will clear your doubts in the for loop sessions so now i have to uh, enter five elements i'm entering this five elements and you can see i'm gonna get this five element as output so this is how you can take different types of input in java and print them so i will give this source code in the description so make sure to like share and subscribe to my channel thank you